We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 5 Look, I, I I got a situation. Mike, where's that room? Arthur Edens just stripped down naked in a deposition room in Milwaukee. You are the senior litigating partner of one of the largest, most respected law firms in the world. You are a legend. I'm an accomplice. You're a manic depressive. I am Shiva, the god of death. I am Michael Clayton. You're late. This is a three billion dollar class action lawsuit. The architect of our defense has been arrested for running naked through a parking lot. He's building the case against you, North. Nobody's gonna let him do that. Let him? Who the hell's gonna stop him? I spent 12% of my life defending the reputation of a deadly weed killer. Arthur. No way! They killed the Michael. You, North, needs to know he's under control. They've been shook up. They need to be reassured. What are you telling me? That I'm counting on you? He didn't want to say exactly what it was. Just that it was something that would win the whole case. I'm not the enemy. Then who are you? You got all these cops thinking you're a lawyer. Then you got all these lawyers thinking you're some kind of cop. You got everybody fooled, don't you? You know exactly what you want. You gotta saddle up here, Michael, and get things under control. What if Arthur was on to something? Do you know Michael Clayton? We have a situation. Stay in the car, lock the door. What would they do if he went public? Arthur, open the door. What would they do? They're doing it. Freeze! Who called it in? Don't... Does that make sense to you, this happening? It's like never that? happened. Get out. Get out of the car now. I'm not the guy that you kill. I'm the guy that you buy. Are you so blind you don't even see what I am? Do I look like I'm negotiating? Number four. I'm suggesting, Mr. President, there's a military plot to take over the government. This may occur sometime this coming Sunday. There are some who will say, it can never happen here. But this is the story of how it could happen. In seven days of intrigue, of blackmail, of terror, an eternity of suspense, this is the astounding story of a military plot to overthrow the government of the United States, which, if successful, would change the fate of every American. You sell information. Are you sufficiently up on your Bibles to know who Judas was? Yes, I know who Judas was. He was a man I worked for and admired until he disgraced the four stars on his uniform. Seven days in May, the first day, when a Marine colonel wondered who was inciting screaming mobs in Madison Square Garden. The second day, that uncovered secret meetings in Washington's back alleys. The third day, when unknown men prepared to kidnap the president from his private vacation resort. The fourth day, that brought a secret presidential messenger to death in a plane crash in Spain. The day a senator of the United States was held against his will. The fifth day, when a woman found her past being used for blackmail. Look, Ellie, if I could tell you why I had to do this, something. you'd understand. I was a stupid, impressionable female who let an Air Force general use her like his personal airplane. The sixth day, the discovery of a desert base for an airborne task force, kept secret even from the President of the United States. The seventh day, when the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff dared the President of the United States to stop the conspiracy that couldn't be proved. You're not a weak sister, Mr. President. You're a criminally weak sister. You say I've duped the people, General. I've built them, I've misled them, I've stripped them naked and made them defenseless. You accuse me of having lost their faith. 
deliberately and criminally shut my ears to the national voice? I do. Well, where the hell have you heard that voice, General? In freight elevators? In dark alleys? In secret places in the dead of night? How did that voice seep into a locked room full of conspirators? That's not where you hear the voice of the people, General. Not in this republic. And I will not resign voluntarily. I'm going to fight you. And then we'll see which one of us the United States is willing to follow. Number three. If I answer that question you keep asking, if I give you the name of the big enchilada, you know, then it's Bon Voyage Dino. I mean like poignant. I mean like a bullet in my head, you dig? Does that help you see my problem a little better? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a flash of light in bushes. And then shots rang out. The whole cloak and dagger stuff, you know. They called it Operation Mongoose. It's gonna be okay, Dave. You just talk to us on the record and we'll protect you. Now, I guarantee it. You are so naive. You found us in your office. We think the conference room is also above maybe the phones. I'm not cooperating here. I'm not cooperating here. Listen, there's a death warrant for me. Are the same people gonna kill us, Pop? Nobody's gonna kill us. Y'all gotta get into your minds how the hell the spooks think. Now, they're not ordinary crooks. Think the unthinkable. Question everything. Now, we're through the looking glass here, people. White is black, and black is white. You don't believe me? All this time, you never believed me. I just want Raise our children and live a normal life. I want my life back. Dude, hey, look, this thing bigger than all of us. Now, how many corpses is it gonna take for you lawyers to figure out what you want? People got to know. People got to know why he was killed. Do you know what you've done to me? I'm a dead man. Well, if they can kill the president, they can certainly get me. Your mouse fighting a gorilla. You're close. You're closer than you think. There's going to be an attempt to kill you somewhere between here and New Orleans. And I say let justice be done over heaven's fall. Number two. Unit one to unit two. What? We're home. Base one to unit one. Base one to unit one. Hold it, you mother! Hold it! Police! There's been a break in at Democratic headquarters. And they were bugging the place. Woodward. Bernstein, uh, you're both on the story, now. Don't get out. Redford. I'm Bob Woodward of the Washington Post. Mr. Markham, are you here in connection with the Watergate burglary? I'm not here. Hoffman. Hi, uh, this is Carl Bernstein of the Washington Post, and I was just wondering if you can remember... All the President's Men, the story of the two young reporters who cracked the Watergate conspiracy. White House. Howard Hunt, please. He might be in Mr. Colson's office. Who's Charles Colson? Did you know uh, Howard Hunt? Well, the White House said he was doing some investigative work. What do you say? They stumbled into leads. Certainly it comes as no surprise to you that Howard was with the CIA. No, no surprise at all. They tripped over clues. We'd like to see all the material requested by the White House. All White House transactions are confidential. This whole thing is a cover-up. It's right on our nose. And piece by piece, they solve the greatest detective story in American history. There is no way the White House can control the investigation. I, I don't want to say any more, OK? You've been threatened if you tell the truth. Is there a cover-up? Don't you understand what you're on to? Mitchell knew? Of course, Mitchell knew. Woodward! Bernstein! Get in here! 
At times, it looked as if it might cost them their jobs. You guys are about to write a story that says the former attorney general, the highest ranking law enforcement officer in this country, is a crook. Their reputations. Why is the Post trying to do it? I don't know. Perhaps even their lives. Number one. Et en venant ici, une voiture a essayé de m'écraser. Ils ont appris que j'avais des révélations importantes à vous faire. Et tu t'es cogné contre le trottoir. J'ai la preuve de l'assassinat du député. De l'accident. Vous avez bel et bien sur les bras cet assassinat. Vous vous égarez, mon ami. Pourquoi les idées que nous défendons Provoque-t-elle une telle violence Je c'est une tentative d'assassinat. J'étais à la manifestation, j'ai tout vu. J'ai même des photos. Il paraît qu'on veut assassiner le docteur. Et alors C'est pas la première fois, non De toute façon, chacun de nous a pris ses risques. Et c'est tout à fait par hasard, bien sûr, que vous vous trouviez sur les lieux de l'assassinat. Vous avez dit assassinat Bien sûr, madame. Et ça ne fait que commencer. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.